name's Charlotte and welcome to my craft room. This is week 11 of the Lewisburg Community TV Knit Along Challenge. So today I'll be showing you the pattern for our final square, square number 12, and it's called the Love Square. In this square we'll be using stocking stitch, so that's the same pattern that we used for square 11, little bobbles, so one row knit, one row purl and so on. Uh, and we'll also be using a technique called intarsia, which you may have heard of. It involves using blocks of colour in your work, but instead of carrying the yarn across the back of the work, you use separate balls of yarn to work each section. So I've included a chart for this pattern, which you can find on my Handmade by Charlotte Facebook page. So you can print it out and it should look like this. So for this, you need two different coloured yarns. These are the two that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use the pink for the heart and yellow for the section around the heart. And because we aren't taking the yarn across the back of the work, you'll need to divide your yarns before you start into smaller um, pieces. So for the piece section around the heart, you've got three little balls or the main one and two other little ones. And for the heart, you'll need two pieces of the yarn. But first of all, I should explain a little bit about the chart. So with a lot of intarsia patterns, you will, a chart will also be included. And I just wanted to show you a few things about the chart. As you can see, it's in two colours, as I mentioned and it uses a big block of colour. Each row is numbered. The odd rows are the ones that you work on the chart from right to left, and the even rows you work left to right. We're doing stocking stitch, so one row knit, one row purl. So the odd numbered rows, the ones that you knit right to left, will be the knit rows. And the even numbered rows, so the ones that you work left to right, are the purl rows. Now each square represents one stitch. So on the chart we'll be working from this um, lower right hand corner up to the right up to the upper left corner. So the first thing to do is we'll be casting on, we'll be casting on 32 stitches in the colour that we're doing as our background colour. Four rows, we can see are all in the same colour. So we're going to knit the first four rows in stocking stitch. So knit, purl, knit, purl. Row five, we'll be starting from the right hand side again because it's an odd numbered row and we'll be knitting and you have to count across to see how many stitches you need to knit until you come to the different colour. Um, it makes it a little bit easier on here because each um, bolder square here is five stitches so you can see it's five, 15 stitches so we'll knit 15 stitches. Now, once we've done our 15 stitches, we can see on the pattern um, the next stitch is a different colour. So we bring, introduce our different colour. So we knit in and put our different colour round. Okay. Now, the rest of the row is back to yellow and it would be very tempting to just um, use our ball of wool and carry it across but we're not going to do that so we need our other ball of wool this is where you need to get quite organized so you're not in a tangle okay so we introduce our next our new ball and we knit to the end of that row now it can look a bit messy in the beginning because it looks like you well your yarns aren't connected to each other but I'll show you something at the end which will help that so we can knit to we're knitting to the end of our row 
So our next row is row six and we'll be working from left to right on this one, on the chart. So that means it's a purl row. We've got three coloured stitches in the middle. So three yellows. Let's get started on that. So I'm going to start by purling 15 in yellow. Okay. So we know the next stitch is going to be pink. Now, to prevent creating a hole, we need to do something special here. So this is the old yarn. We take it over to the to the left hand side of our work and you bring the new yarn up and under. Okay. So I'll just show you that a bit closer. So the old yellow yarn goes to the left. The new yarn, the pink yarn, comes up underneath. So when you purl the next stitch, it goes like that. Make sure you don't pull your tail out. Okay. Now we've done our three. The first thing we need to do is take the old yellow and put that right out of the way. Now our pink yarn is now the old yarn, so that goes over to the left. And the other yellow, the first yellow that we were using, it comes underneath the pink, ready for us to purl into the next stitch. And we can then purl to the end of the row. As you can see on the chart, the pattern emerges so that it increases by one square on either side. So rather than sort of counting each time, um, you sort of get to know that the stitch or the pattern grows out by one stitch on either side. So actually, you don't really need to count once you get into the, to the pattern of it. So on row seven, we're going in from this side, 13 stitches on the yellow. And that's on a knit row. So again, when we come to change our colour, we put the old yellow over to the left and we bring up the pink okay and knit and by doing that it creates a twist and prevents a hole so we knit our pink and again we can get the old yellow out the way now because we're not using that the pink is now the old colour so that goes over to the left and we pull up the new yellow underneath it so the pink goes to the left the old the new colour comes up underneath and we knit so we always the old yarn colour goes to the left and you bring the new yarn from underneath And the rule's always the same on the right or the wrong side, whether you're knitting or purling. Okay. And you'll see at the bottom where we started, there is a slight hole, but I'll show you, once we've finished our square, I'll show you how to get rid of that. So, now we've figured out intarsia, we can continue making our heart square. When you get to the row 32 which is the pearl row you this is where the middle section of the heart is formed and this is where you need the very small two small pieces of yarn that i spoke about at the very beginning pearl five in this yellow four five and then again 
put that over to the left and bring up the pink and then on that chart we've got to purl 10 in the pink so one ten and then you can see we've got two stitches in the yellow so this is where we're going to introduce a small ball of yellow here so a bit like we did at the other end when we started off our heart again our old yarn which is now a pink yarn goes over to the left and our new yellow comes up there okay and we do two stitches in that yellow now we take away that side pink and this little tail and then this yellow here is going to become the old yarn and this is where we need our new ball of pink so we bring that up and we can carry on knitting across um, we decrease here on this side so again this pink now becomes the old yarn and we pick up the yellow from over here wherever it's gone there we go and it twists around and becomes the new yarn so we can do the next few rows just um, each each just being careful to use the correct yarn as we go across so I've just finished um, row 35 and that's all the colors now and we're just left with this one uh, sort of medium sized ball of yarn still so we can finish the square so we finished our square so um, I said I would just show you now there's a couple of holes here which have occurred just because when we've been um, when we first started our uh, yarns didn't twist over hopefully you can see that the the yarn the pink yarn really wants to come round and in like that so if we turn it over you can see the pattern that the yarn has made coming down underneath so we just need to follow it on so you just get a darning needle now this ends a little bit short but it will still be able to we'll still be able to do it and so you just carry on the the yarn round so it will go through there where it wanted to go and if you turn it over uh, you can see we've closed up the hole and then we can do the same weave in the ends with all the other ones so there it there you go that's what it should look like on the back all nice neatly um, sort of threaded in and there's our finished square well, that's our final square all done. And now we have 12 squares all finished and ready to make into something really special. And I really hope you've enjoyed following along with me. So this is our final square, the Lewisburg Love Square. Don't forget the pattern and photo of each square we've made is on my Handmade by Sharla Facebook page. Now, the next thing, of course, is to do something with our squares. Now, of course, you may have got ideas of your own of what you'd like to do with the squares that you've made but I will be making a final video to show you what to do next with your squares and give you some ideas so that will be the final video in the knit along challenge so if you have any messages or any photos of the squares that you've made so far that you'd like to be included in that last video then please send them to me by next Tuesday in the meantime please like share and subscribe to Lewisburg Community YouTube channel. Bye for now.